If you take the time to study really great rebounders, you'll notice that not only do they have great body positioning ahead of time, and they seem to understand a lot about angles, so they have an idea of where the ball is likely to drop, but you'll also start to notice that a lot of the times, really great rebounders, they don't necessarily secure the ball on the first touch. And yes, you are correct if you're thinking, well, isn't the best way to secure a rebound to grab it with two hands, pull it down strong into the protective position right here at your chest? Yes, you are absolutely correct. But the thing is, at the elite level and professional level, well, sometimes you're up against really tall and really athletic players, and you need to gain any little inch that you can. Because the trick is that you reach a lot higher with one hand and a tilt in your body than you do with two hands. And you need to utilize this fact to get yourself to be able to contend for the rebounds that you normally would not be able to get. You must teach yourself how to reach and tip the ball away from your defender and in the direction in which you are going. When you go for contested rebounds, this technique of trying to tip the ball to yourself is very effective. And the reason is that rebounding has a lot to do with where your fingertips needs to be. If you try and secure a rebound the normal way, well basically your fingertips needs to be above the ball in order for you to actually pull it down. But if you're tipping the ball, well your fingertips only needs to touch the bottom of the ball. And the difference between top and bottom and your tilt in your body is going to be at least 10-15 centimeters. And this means that all of a sudden, if you're reaching and tipping, you will be able to compete for rebounds that are a lot higher up in the air. It's a little bit like losing the battle to win the war, but honestly, who cares? Because basketball is not about being flashy, it's not about being pretty, it's about being effective. And sometimes you have to go a little bit against what is generally taught as good basketball technique in order to get those extra centimeters of reach. So be the smart player, be the player that thinks basketball. <laughs> 